Hi, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed the basic introduction concept of uh, pointers. Now, the very important discussion in pointers concept, what is the size of pointer and why the pointer size varies from compiler to compiler. We already know that integer size in C language is not constant that will change from one compiler to another compiler. In the same way, the pointer size also will change. How it will change? Observe. Suppose here we are taking compiler type, compiler type and here it is the size of integer and here it is size of pointer. Suppose if you are using a 16 bit compiler integer occupies a 2 bytes memory, integer occupies 2 bytes memory because 8 bits is equals to 1 byte. So, here it is a 16 bit is equals to 2 bytes, pointer size also 2 bytes and suppose if you are using 32 bit compiler, 32 bit C compiler and here it is a 4 into 8 is a 32. So, here it will occupy 4 bytes integer size and here it is a pointer size is also 4 bytes. Depends on the compiler type. So, what compiler we are using depends on the compiler type. The size of integer and the size of pointer varies. If it is a 16 bit, it occupies a 2 bytes. If it is a 32 bit, it occupies a 4 bytes, integer and pointer both are same. The reasons are why pointer size varies, why the pointer size varies, observe here. Suppose, if it is a 16 bit compiler, if it is 16 bit compiler, exactly 16 bit compiler contains 2 power 16 memory locations in the machine. 2 power 16 memory addresses present, 2 power 16. Suppose I am declaring one variable int i equals to 100. Some of the memory locations we are giving, suppose 128, 256, here it is a 512, 7058, some addresses. Now observe, we are declaring one pointer variable integer pointer and into PTR we are storing address of i. First i gets memory allocation and initializes with a value 100. Somewhere in a 128 i gets memory allocation. Address is 128. That 128 will go and store into PTR. PTR can point into this location because the address is a 128 only. Imagine if PTR occupies 1 byte, if PTR occupies 1 byte, what is the 1 byte range? 256, 2 power 8 value 256, nothing but it can points to only these many locations whatever the data which is stored inside 256 locations, we can point by a pointer which is occupying 1 byte memory. For example, imagine whenever you declare this variable, suppose i not getting memory allocation here, i memory allocation is here, i, now this is the memory location 100 using this pointer, it is impossible to pointing to this location because the pointer size is only 1 byte, pointer size only 1 byte, 1 byte means it should points to only 256 memory locations, only these are the memory locations it should point. Then who will point remaining memory locations? What about the data which has stored inside remaining locations, how to access? So, that is why how many memory locations are present? 
the pointer should pointing to any one of all the available memory locations. Okay. Only some of the memory locations it is allowed to point and remaining memory locations not allowed. No such type of restriction pointer means right it should access any data which is stored inside the memory anywhere in the memory location anywhere in the memory location. So, when it can points to this data when the pointer occupies a 2 bytes memory then it can points to any location any location from 0 to 2 power 16. So, by that time only it is allowed by that time only it is allowed. Sir, suppose if it is a 32 bit compiler then we have total 2 power 32 memory locations total 2 power 32 some more memory locations will be present 2 power 32 memory locations by that time the pointer also should occupy 4 bytes in that case suppose pointer occupies only 2 bytes memory pointer occupies only 2 bytes memory, it can points to 2 power 16 memory locations, it cannot pointing to remaining locations, then again problem will come. Suppose, I am the faculty, I am taking class, in this classroom, suppose 500 students are there, 500 chairs are there, just consider, I am the pointer, as a pointer, I should point to all the 500 chairs nothing but all the 500 students right as a faculty right if i see always i always pointing to only 100 students aside what about remaining 400 students the remaining 400 students will affect that is the problem so as a pointer you should be in a position to point all the memory locations in the computer all the chairs as a faculty all the chairs available in this room that you have to point out. You should maintain eye contact with all the 500 students, that is it. Okay. So, this is why the pointer size varies from compiler to compiler. We will see a simple program, how to find out the size of a pointer. Practically, I will show you. Okay. See, how to find the size of a pointer, any pointer type you can take, observe. Suppose, I am declaring one structure, struct employee, employee is having employee number, next uh, employee name, the size 20 we are taking and next employee cell employee cell. Now, main method we are writing wide main, integer main or simply main also you can write. I am declaring one character pointer variable C P we are taking character pointer variable and next second one we are taking integer pointer variable integer. Next, uh, directly we are printing or uh, struct emp pointer variable we are declaring struct emp pointer here it is s e p we are taking struct employee pointer type. Now, we are printing printf size of character pointer is percentage d size always represents in a integers so integer format specifier it will send the control to next line we know that function we are using size of function only cp cp is the character pointer variable cp is a character pointer variable Next, printf size of size of integer pointer variable is percentage d size of 
integer pointer. In the same way, printf size of employee pointer variable is percentage d. Here it is size of SEP. SEP, we are writing. So, whenever we are executing this program, what will be the output means? Generally, the people thinking that it is a character type. So, this pointer occupies one byte and it is an integer and it varies either two bytes or four bytes. Imagine integer size is a two bytes. So, pointer size is also two bytes. So, here it is a one byte and it is a 2 bytes and it is a 26 bytes because 20 plus 4 plus 2, 26. The people thinking like that, output should be like this. So, like that people will think character pointer size is a 1 byte, integer pointer size is a 2 bytes and here it is employee pointer size is a 26 bytes. But this is exact output, this is wrong, here it is, it will give the output like this. Two bytes, employee pointer also two bytes. Any pointer you can take, character pointer, float pointer, double pointer, employee pointer, function pointer, array pointer, string pointer any type of pointer no matter it occupies either 2 bytes or 4 bytes ok why see the explanation so why every pointer occupies a 2 bytes you will get more clarity right of the previous example here suppose i am declaring one character ch i am storing one element g how many bytes it will occupy one byte memory it will occupy it holds the g at some location 2046 the size is a one byte one byte memory and suppose i am declaring one short variable short s is equals to some 10 we are storing it holds 10 at some location 5048. How many bytes it will occupy? 2 bytes memory it will occupy. Suppose I am declaring one double type variable double d equals to 34.56. It will store 34.56 at some location it occupies how many bytes 8 bytes memory it will occupy next i am declaring one employee point employee variable struct employee so it holds three employee number employee name employee cell at some location suppose 7052 how many bytes it will occupy 26 bytes observe right ordinary variables Whenever you declare ordinary variable, the size varies from one data type to another data type because the type of data you are storing is different. Here you are storing character, here you are storing short, here you are storing double, here you are storing employee. Depends on the size of the data, the size will vary. But suppose I am declaring character pointer CP what you are holding address of ch address of ch means you are storing 2046 and here it is using short short pointer sp you are storing address of s and here it is it holds a 5048 and next suppose double double pointer double pointer right here it is a dp equals to address of d and here it is it holds a 9002 
and next struct pointer struct employee pointer employee pointer scp is equals to address of something e here it is holding 7052 using pointer variables always we are storing same type of data it is pointing to this one 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 it is not holding the data sir what it is holding it is holding addresses 2046 5048 pointer variables always store address address means the value between 0 to 2 power 16 so it always occupies how many bytes 2 bytes memory always occupies how many bytes 2 bytes memory it will occupy you are not storing information so that's why the pointer size will not vary from one type to another type just like primitive variables or derived or user defined data types pointer size always fixed because it is holding address instead of data this is the reason why pointer size fixed either 2 bytes or 4 bytes this is all about a size of pointer hope you people enjoy this session in the coming sessions we'll see some more examples on pointers thank you for watching thank you and for more videos please subscribe to narayshaiti thank you all